Well, riders are left out in the elements after Greyhound left its longtime terminal on 10th and Filbert. At the new location at 6th and Market, riders are exposed to heat, rain, and have no access to bathrooms. CBS Philadelphia's Dan Snyder went to city leaders and asked them what's being done to help the situation. Dan, what do they have to say? Well, Yuki, you know, the city is working on a solution, but there really are no simple answers. Now, the old Greyhound Terminal, certainly no state of the art facility, but there you had shelter, you had bathrooms. That's all gone. And city officials tell me something needs to be done. Everyone's mad. Everyone's pretty mad. So, and there's little information. No, I'm dying to go to a bathroom right now. Like, I need a bathroom. No shade, no bathrooms. That's what awaits riders taking the Greyhound bus from Philly right now. Joining other curbside bus companies at 6th and Market has left passengers stuck on the sidewalk, with passengers getting on buses from other companies with street side pickups. Carolyn Cunningham's wait has been even worse than she thought it would be, with her bus delayed two hours. You know, what are we supposed to do here while we're waiting? You know, we're just exposed. I'm glad it's not raining. And it's not just riders who are upset. Well, we have to get them off Market Street as soon as possible because it's, it's just not feasible to have that there. And the city is already looking into fixes. In the short term, Squilla says they've talked with the parking authority about moving pickups and drop offs to other locations with a shelter, something that could happen by the end of summer. And while these curbside companies don't have to provide bathrooms or shelter, the streets department says they can target traffic disruptions. They're loading and unloading spaces 40 feet, which is a single bus. As you see, there's sometimes uh, three, four buses of each company there, which is completely in violation of the permit. But it's a long-term fix that'll be key. The city has considered proposals for bus terminals in the past, but nothing came of it. Now with the situation on market, Squilla says the city is looking into what places like Boston and Washington, D.C. have done with city-owned bus hubs. Their issues and their concerns and their business model should not affect our decisions on what we do, and we shouldn't allow them to continue to operate this way. Out late this afternoon, a spokesperson for Flixbus, the parent company of Greyhound, sent us a statement saying the company follows industry standards and that the community bus stop is conveniently located near restaurants where travelers can buy food and drink. He also said riders can use apps that let them track buses, all of which have restrooms. Dan, before you go, what about the, the, the rumors about Greyhound getting pushed out of the bus terminal? <laughs> yeah, and of course that all has to do with where the old terminal is, right mm -hmm. there at 10th and Filbert. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is part of the area that's the proposed new Sixers arena. So the rumor mill's been circulating. You know, hey, did the Sixers kick Greyhound out of that terminal? Whoa. I reached out to 76 DevCore. Mm -hmm. They say that's not the case. They told us that Greyhound was leaving before they got involved with the site. Stay on top of it before, sir. Thank got you it. so much. Appreciate you.